In this question, we're trying to find the height of the fountain. So that would be this dimension right here. We're gonna just label that dimension height. And the first bit of information we'll work with is the circumference. So what happens is the student starts at an arbitrary point and kind of walks around the fountain like this, and he measures the circumference to be 15 meters. Let's take a look at why that would be important in solving for the height. So we'll take an overhead view of the fountain. So you can kind of imagine that you're standing up here or floating up here perhaps, and you're looking down on the fountain. And again, this student walked around the entire circumference of the fountain, which is circular in shape. And what we'll notice is that we can use the circumference to find the radius of that circular path. On the original picture, the radius would represent this dimension right here. So let's think about the equation for circumference. We probably learned this in a high school geometry class. Circumference is equal to two pi multiplied by the radius. Now the circumference was given to us, it was 15 meters. And this is going to allow us to solve for the radius of that circular fountain. And then from there we can find the height. So let's solve for the radius and we can do that by dividing both sides of this little equation by two pi. That will help us cancel the two pi's on the right hand side. And so pick up a calculator, divide your circumference by 2 pi, and you're going to get a radius of approximately 2.387 meters. So that's the radius. And again, the radius in the original picture is this length right here, basically from the base of the fountain to where the student is standing. Now, once we have that radius, we can find the height. Let's take a look at how we can do that. We look back at the original figure, we can see that it forms a right triangle. We've marked the height h, and that radius again is r, and then we have an angle of 55 degrees. Now we've kind of translated that original picture into a more basic looking triangle, and if you look at that, you can ask yourself whether you're going to use the sine, cosine, or tangent function. Now look at where theta is located, and you'll notice that h is opposite of theta, so we're just going to mark that side opposite. And then if you look at where the radius is positioned, you'll notice that the radius is positioned adjacent to that angle. So we'll label that accordingly as well. Now think about which trigonometric function relates the opposite and adjacent sides of a right triangle. And of course, you should come up with the tangent function. So we know that the tangent of that angle would equal the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. And what's nice is that we know the angle it was given to us as being 55 degrees, and then we just figured out what the value of r was, that radius was 2.387 meters. So now all we need to do is multiply both sides of the equation by our radius, that will cancel it out on the right hand side, and on the left hand side, we're just going to pick up our calculator and multiply 2.387 by the tangent of 55, make sure your calculator is set to degree mode since the angle is given in degrees, and you will find that the radius is approximately three, excuse me, the height, the height is approximately 3.41 meters. And that would be the correct answer to this question.